Alrighty, <clears throat> we're finally back. New video, something I uh, thought about a while ago, making a video about this, and it's just taking me a little bit of time, but I don't have any other content planned for this uh, upload, so I was like, hey, why not make this video? Fun video today, we're gonna talk about what I carry in my running bag. This is my bag from last year, it's pretty cool. I honestly don't know how many items are in here and how well I'm gonna cover everything, but give or take, this is what I carry with me pretty much every day to cross country. I'm not gonna include my camera, camera gear, just because that's probably, that could probably be its own little video, honestly. It's so intricate. So, before we actually open up the bag, I wanna talk about what shoes I bring to practice. These are my workout shoes. I'm actually gonna be making a video on these very soon, how they are doing for workouts, so stay tuned for that. These are my everyday shoes, uh, trainers, uh, recovery runs, long runs, whatnot, stuff like that. But uh, I normally, I have a clip on my bag right here that attaches like to the back of this, like right here. So I can carry my backpack around with a shoe attached to it. And that's because I just wear my Birkenstocks to practice every morning because I'm lazy, I guess you could say, and I don't like wearing my running shoes for like extended periods of time. I like to give my feet a break because my feet are terrible, honestly. So that's why I always bring these with and yeah, that's basically the story behind that. Let's get these out of here. That's the most, that's like the least interesting part of my bag. All right, we're gonna start pulling things out one by one and uh, we'll talk, talk a little bit about each thing. Number one, water bottle. Pretty cool water bottle we all got from JJC. You guys have seen this before, and this is really good for keeping water cold, so I always try to keep this with me. Next, we have the rollers, which I think is very, very important for me specifically, but really everybody can benefit from them. This is like a hand roller that I use to do like the back of my legs or the top of my calves, whatnot. Uh, pretty easy to use, self-explanatory. This is a foam roller, which I really like to use for like rolling my shins out specifically. And then I'll also use this for my calves and whatnot, but if I'm feeling inclined to do that, but mainly for the shins because it's really easy to use and doesn't hurt your sh uh, shins as much. So that's super nice. Next, we got some essentials. We got the wallet and the AirPods. I bring these with because a lot of time I like to stay and uh, hit the gym after practice that we haven't been able to do recently, but that's another story. And uh, Wallace has my license in it, so I have to bring this with me. Just two random things, don't really need to bring up, but they're in there, just wanna let you guys know. All right, next thing is a mask. This is like my buffer, if you will, which actually can be used for a headband as well, if I really want to. Wow, I look terrible. Let's not do that, but yeah. I always have a mask with me. Uh, I also have a mask in my car, so I'll wear that when time comes. Actually, I have two more kind of not as, well, yeah, they're really not essential at all, but uh, portable charger, this is always in my bag just because my phone dies way too often. My hair is all over my face right now. Phone dies way too often, so I love to have a portable charger in my bag. I also have a cord just in case I need that for anything else, but also to use with that. And then gum, I always have gum in my bag try to always have gum in my bag. I chew a lot of gum, oh well. <laughs> Next we have tape. Now I try to always have athletic tape in my bag just because I feel like it has so many versatile uh, uses for it, if you will. It's a very versatile thing. And yeah, I just leave it in there. And I also will sometimes carry around KT tape and I have KT tape on my knee right now. So I'm probably gonna have this with me a lot more often at the moment just because. But uh, I always try to have these two things with me just because they're very important and you never know when you need them. Rather have them and not need them than need them, not have them. And they're pretty small, so it doesn't really matter that much. All right, for practice specifically, protein bars always come with me. I don't know a time that I won't bring this unless I'm bringing a protein shake. Otherwise, always have a protein bar with me. As a vegetarian, I need a source of protein after my runs. I normally have chocolate milk, like I'm having right now. <sighs> but this is a better source of protein anyway, so protein bar. All right, my hair was bothering me way too much, so I put a hat on. Uh, one of the last things I'm gonna talk about is I always like to keep a towel either in my bag or in my car. Uh, same goes for yoga mats. I like to have that in my car. It doesn't fit in my bag, so towel, 
very, very helpful on so many different occasions. So I like to have that in there. And then the last thing in the bag that I think is the most important thing out of all of these items. So at the very bottom, it gets its own little special spot. And that is this thing right here. Toilet paper. I cannot tell you how many times this thing has saved me. Toilet paper is the most crucial thing a runner has in their utility. Like honestly, I'm being 100% serious. This is the most, I could, I could run 10 miles with no shoes on, butt naked. If I don't have toilet paper, I'm gonna be mad. Toilet paper is huge. I've used the bathroom in the woods many times. And there's been times where I didn't have toilet paper. Needless to say, I hate poison ivy. Draw your conclusions the way you will, but toilet paper is a lifesaver. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I carry in my bag on a daily basis. Um, I could do another video talking about what I take to meet because that's actually kind of different in a lot of ways. So if you guys actually want to see that, let me know. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Something I would definitely recommend for runners to always carry though is toilet paper, obviously. Rollers, water, huge, and tape. Athletic tape can be so big and a lot of people don't realize it. Towel is also huge as well. So those are just stuff that I would highly recommend. You don't really need gum, portable charger, like that stuff's not that necessary, but I have it in my bag just in case. And everything fits in here and it's not even that full. Like I could fit everything in here without a problem. It's not even a big deal. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that, uh... oh, we have a time trial coming up tomorrow morning that I'm gonna be recording. I don't know that I'll be running though. I have sort of a knee injury right now that I don't really wanna talk about because it's basically just runner's knee and I hate it. Uh, I've been icing the crap out of it. I've been doing stretches. I have KT tape on right now, and if I don't run it, I'm gonna make a banger 4K time trial video for you guys. If I do run it, I'm still gonna record. I don't know how good the footage is gonna be because I really don't have anybody that can film for me, so I'll have to just bring the camera up, or bring the camera, set it up on a tripod or something, and film it like that. I'm gonna text my coach and talk to him about it, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, let me know. All right, take care, love all things, peace out.